hello everyone so today we are i'm going to show you how to replace the character of this uh, shooter project ALS based shooter project with the meta heaven so this is the demonstration So everything is working. Alright, so let's see how to replace the character with the meta hammer today. Right, so this is the character we worked on last time, which uh, I added some make some more character into the shooter project that we worked on so now i want to show you instead of some make some more character how to use a meta human with this shooter project that we have worked on so far right so first we need to have a meta human character so let me open quicksell bridge i have already logged in in case you haven't logged in you have to log in and then i'm gonna download one of the characters so something simple i have already downloaded this so let me add this character this kellen character into the project right and now we have the meta heavens project here so the first thing we need to do is we need to have a retargeter i can retargeter so we have this rtg meta heaven so instead of this so here what we got is both source and target is meta heaven so i want to have uh, ALS I can recast the source and as the target well I need to keep I came at a human so this is female body is there a male body right uh, M right. Okay, so here we have the preview mesh. This should be good enough. We have both legs and hands only. So as for scale wise, I think this has to be a little bigger, but let me first adjust. Oh yeah. It has to be bigger, otherwise we can't map correctly. So how about 1.1? So yeah, that should work. No upper arm. Let me rotate it. Oh, we need to go to the edit mode. both left and right so we need to perfectly match this both uh, source rig and target rig in order to get accurate results What if I rotate from clavicle? Yeah, I think that works fine. Right, clavicle R, clavicle L. Okay.
Okay. Uh, off the recording, I did some further matching. Uh, but it's still, it's not perfect, but I'm not going to spend much time. I just want to show you uh, how to do it. So you can spend time and get it perfectly right. And few more things we need to take care of here is here left pinky metacarpal is assigned to left pinky so these are not correct so let me filter all the metacarpals and set to none right now if I preview uh, one animation it works not perfect but it works okay now save this and we need let's go to the meta diamond character so here we have several components so this is the body here we need to create an animation blueprint the human base skeleton animation blueprint so this one should be free target pose from mesh we need to use this node and as the retarget asset rtg mannequin sorry rtg meta human this is the one we just modified okay close it now here so this custom mesh this is what we added last time we called it custom mesh so all we have done is we made this base mesh invisible here we disable the visibility and then we just try added the child skeletal mesh under the mesh that's what we have called as the custom mesh and we made it visible we kept it visible so now instead of this mesh nothing is used here instead of this mesh let me use this one compile now as the animation blueprint we need to use the animation blueprint we created um what's the name this one so in order to see the animation you may have to close and reopen the editor otherwise you wouldn't see the change now you see and in here, where is the character? Oh, here. Still, animation is not working here. That's also because it's not refreshed. So, if I drag and drop it again, process. Now, animation is working. See? So, we only have the everything is working but we only have the hands and legs so if i go to this bp keller blue uh, blueprint here you can see these other parts so let me just copy that these components and go to ls under custom mesh let me paste so they are not imported, not added under custom mesh. So let me drag and drop. 
okay head is automatically connected but the other parts are not so if you go here into the construction script you see feet legs torso we call this enable master component function so the body mesh is set as the master component that's what happens here so let's do the same thing in the ls character for that first we need to copy this enable master force function so let me paste here now we don't have body as the lead pose but what we have is this custom mesh let me rename this as meta human base and so this is deprecated this is i think i started getting this warning after updating the engine but let's discard it for now okay now we can copy this enable master pose function into als construction script is rename to feed one for some reason do I have feed okay anyway we can just reconnect it legs okay torso is renamed to torso one right now we do have the character let me play and see okay things are working let me shoot nice how about the crossbow okay grenade everything is okay all right so right so that's enough for today so that's all i want to do so still i know this is not perfect but i have shown you the method so you can fine tune these positions of the mesh and make it perfectly match also i didn't add these uh, groom assets eyelashes eyebrows so those things but just like we had other components we can copy them under the mesh here under the face here so they will work so yeah that's how you replace the ALS character in this shooter project with the metahuma thanks for watching so you can access the project files of this project in patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club see you in another episode goodbye